hello grade sevens helen here that means it's time for your natural sciences lesson what are we going to be focusing on today the topic for today's lesson is radiation all right so we've been looking so far at heating as a transfer of energy and we've learned that heat energy is transferred from a hotter object to a cooler object until they both reach the same temperature. We also have learned about two of the three ways in which thermal energy can be transferred, either from one object or substance to another object or substance, or from a system out into its surroundings. We learned about conduction, which worked very well for solids when our particles vibrated, moved against each other because they were touching each other and transferred the kinetic energy. We learned about convection currents where our gas or liquid particles are going to be circulating in currents as they gain or lose their heat energy. And in today's lesson, we are going to focus on radiation. So let's meet the two best friends there ever was, Chris and Chloe, and let's solve the mystery of the sun. So Chris and Chloe aren't cooking today, but they went for a ride on their bikes and it was a very hot day. Chris asked, how does the sun make us hot? And Chloe wondered, is it by conduction or convection? And we know that for heat energy transfer via conduction, the particles in solids must be touching. Now we've got a problem. The sun is not touching Chris and Chloe. We also know, and we'll get to it just now, but the sun is in space and space is a vacuum. There are no particles in space, no air particles. For heat energy to move from place to place via convection, the particles must move in a liquid or a gas. Now, we could say that the air all around us is a gas. But, like I said, the sun is so far away in outer space and space is a vacuum. There are no air particles. So how is heat energy transferred when there are no particles in space? And this is the mystery that we're going to solve today of radiated heat energy. So we're talking about heat radiation. And I want you to remember that there are different kinds of radiation. We are looking at heat radiation or thermal radiation. So please don't get confused when you read somewhere or you hear someone talking about sound being radiated. The word radiate simply means a starting point and waves moving out from a starting point. So there is a source or a starting point and waves are going to move out from that starting point in all directions. So when we talk about a source of sound, we can say that sound is radiated from that source. You could be a source of joy and love and kindness and they could radiate out from you. So radiation is a very general word that simply means there is a source of something and that spreads outwards in all directions. 
when we're talking science now and not you being a source of love and kindness, we're talking about a substance being radiated out from a starting point. It also could be energy that is radiated out from a starting point, not necessarily a substance. So when we're talking about thermal radiation, we are talking about heat energy and it is transferred from the sun to the earth by the process of radiation. So radiation is different to conduction and convection because it does not require objects to be touching or the movement of particles. So the objects touching rules out conduction and it rules out convection when we talk about movement of particles. So radiation is still a heat energy transfer mechanism, but it doesn't require objects to be touching each other and it doesn't require the particles to be moving. Thermal radiation, and here is your definition, is heat energy transfer that spreads heat energy by waves from a starting point. So let's look at the sun. Here are Chris and Chloe. How do they get warm from the sun? Well, the sun is what we are going to label our starting point. And the sun is explosions and gas burning all the time and a great source of heat energy. We know that the sun is very far away from the earth and between the, the sun and the earth we have space and space has no particles. You can't breathe in space. There are no particles of matter. It is the vacuum that I spoke about earlier. We know that the sun is the hotter object and we know that the earth is the cooler object. So we've got a setup here perfect for heat energy transfer. We've got a starting point that is our heat source. We've got a hotter object and we've got a cooler object. So we should be able to see a heat energy transfer from the hotter object to the cooler object. And that is precisely what happens. And this kind of transfer that happens without particles is known as radiation. So our Earth is warmed up by thermal energy that is radiated or sent out in waves from the sun. But radiation also happens on Earth. So here is a candle. Here is a hand holding a metal rod. Here is a hand placed above the lit candle. And here is a hand next to the candle. All three of these hands, one, two, and three, are going to get warm. They're all going to feel the warmth of that heat source, which is our candle. Which hand is receiving heat energy via radiation? Let's work it out. Let's start with hand number one. Hand number one is holding a metal rod. How is hand number one going to start feeling the heat? Well, our metal rod is in the heat source. We're going to see that these little particles of the metal start vibrating against each other. And we're going to start seeing this transfer of heat energy up the rod. And after a few minutes, we might find that our metal rod 
or our spoon or whatever it was that we put into the flame of the candle starts to get hot and our hand starts to get warm. This is the process of heat transfer by, I hope you're shouting it out for me, I think I can hear someone, conduction. This hand is being very brave. This hand is not touching, there's where the flame ends, the hand is not touching the heat source. There is a space in between the heat source and the hand. But what is happening to our little particles of air? The air particles are starting to move and spread out. And remember what is going to happen. We're going to see currents of warmer air particles moving upwards. So hand number two is going to get heat energy via, please shout it out, I need to hear you, convection. Now, hand number three, it is not above the, the heat source. It's not got something stuck in the heat source. What is happening to hand number three, which is to the side of the heat source? Air particles, if we're talking about the air particles, they don't move sideways when they're heated by the flame. Energy is transferred sideways in this situation by radiation. We're having a source. We have space, and although they're particles, those particles are not moving sideways. When those particles are heated, they move upwards. So we've got space, and we have waves of heat energy radiated out to the hand, which is at the side of the candle. So energy is transferred through space from the candle flame to the hand, via radiation. So let's explain heat transfer and this fire. You are standing over here and you are warming up your hands next to this fire. We know that the wood is the fuel and the heat energy is going to be moving upwards. If you've watched a fire on a dark night, you'll even see little sparks, which are little pieces of this burning wood moving upwards. That is convection. If you had to bend down and you had to touch one of these stones, that would burn you. That we know is conduction because the solid particles within the stone are passing on the heat energy throughout the stone via conduction. But you are not touching the stone and you are not above the fire. You are to the side of the fire. So we know that the heat energy is radiating sideways from the starting point, which is the fire, through the space towards you. And that is radiation. So what have you learnt about radiation? The third way that heat can be transferred is by the process of radiation. And it's different to conduction and convection because it doesn't require objects to be touching. It doesn't require the movement of particles. Thermal radiation is heat energy transfer that spreads the heat energy by waves from a starting point. So just as you are the starting point for waves of kindness and love, so the fire is the starting point or the sun is the starting point for the waves of radiated heat energy. 
that's it for today. We'll look at radiation investigations in our next lesson. For today, goodbye. Thank <music> you.